In a world where 99% of all anime is obsessed with high school ant tits, sometimes it can be difficult to find something that's genuinely unique or interesting. But every now and then you get lucky and find something special, like Kyoso Giga, an original net animation that got adapted into a full 10 episode anime back in 2013. The plot of Kyoso Giga starts off pretty simple. This is Mioe, he's a bit of a douche. He hooks up with this girl, Koto, they have three kids, and move to another world where they can live happily ever after. And if that were where the story ended, this would be a much shorter video. See, things don't really get going until two-thirds through the first episode, when Koto and Mioe straight up abandon their three kids in the other world. And this is where things really start to get interesting. Even though most of the first episode is dedicated to developing these two characters, it's not really about them, it's about the impact they have. In fact, most of the rest of the story takes place 15-ish years later, with the main focus being on the three kids as adults and how growing up without parents messed each of them up. And while there is an overarching plot having to do with the arrival of a new girl whom they believe may be related to their missing mother, the main focus is on fleshing out these damaged individuals. This is accomplished mostly by talking. Lots of talking. And that sounds awful, but it's actually where I think the series is at its best. These conversations are funny, complex, and full of subtext, and they're all kept interesting by this insane art style and animation that just forces you to pay attention. Seriously, conversations like this one are so varied and good looking, they're practically pornographic. And if it sounds like I'm dick riding this show a lot, it's because I really enjoyed it. But it's not perfect. The first episode comes off as a bit slow, but it's nothing major. The real problems don't start until towards the end. It all starts to unravel at around episode 7. They keep introducing new plot points instead of staying grounded and focusing on what's already there. By the time it's all over, the final part of the story comes off as a bit of a mess, and the ending feels a bit unsatisfying. Things never get truly terrible, but it's clear they overreached when they were putting this all together, and the whole project would have greatly benefited from just a few extra episodes to let them tie everything up. I guess the bottom line is that Kyoso Giga is a good, but somewhat flawed series. I could go on about the great soundtrack, or about how this might be the anime with the single most varied and well-integrated art style I've ever seen, or even just about my intense Hence obsession with Professor Shoko. But the point is that I liked Kyoso Giga, and I think you will too. So yeah, High Risk Unicorn recommends Kyoso Giga. <laughs> Hey guys, so that's my recommendation video for Kyoso Giga. Anyone interested in watching it can find it over at Crunchyroll.com. And if you do plan on watching it, be sure to skip over episode 0 and start with episode 1. It has a few spoilers for the first half of the series, and it's also just pretty confusing and out of context. Thanks for watching.